I am sorry for the family that hurt in South Africa. I am sorry, very, very sorry, deeply sorry for each one of you. Take heart. Jesus Christ of Nazareth will strengthen your hearts and give you hope. But do not lose hope. The wages of sin is dead. The wages of sin is dead. The word of God make it clear that no peace to the wicked. So, there will be no peace in the life of those people or their family of those that destroy innocent souls. I'm sorry. I am deeply sorry when I heard that. I shed tears. I cried. And I said, how can African hurt the fellow Africans? How can African be against the fellow Africans? It is unbelievable that, that South Africa is against those. The Lord used them as an instrument to make them what they are today. The same Africa that fight with them, the same Africa that walk with them, and be with them even in the time of solo Santia, in the time they were rejected. The African nations were with them. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. But I want you to know that the wages of sin is there. That we come from the dust and everyone must surely go back to the dust. Nobody will escape his sin. All the citizens of South Africa will reap what they sow. Nigeria and African nations, what do you think that the evil leaders in Africa, in your country, will do in the case of South Africa? What do you think that Buhari will do in the case of South Africa? He can do nothing because all the people who die in South Africa it's not his business. It's not his expectation. Because all the people who die in South Africa have nothing to do with them. None of their family hurt. None of their family die. None of their relation die. None of their cousin die in South Africa. That is why they don't care. It doesn't trouble them. They don't care of what is going on there. Because of the selfish interest, because of the selfish ambition, because of the evil desires and evil heart. Nigeria should know that we have xenophobia in Nigeria. And now between Nigeria citizens, they dislike themselves. They dislike themselves. They don't love themselves. There is a lot of discrimination, a lot of discrimination, xenophobia between Nigerian citizens. That is the problem we have. How many other tribes in Nigeria are dying in South Africa? Just few, just few. But 70% or 60% are both. You understand that the government of Nigeria is happy when evil people die, when Nigeria citizens die, they don't care, they don't want to know, they, they don't want to know, they don't want to care. They're busy fighting for their selfish interest, fighting for their selfish desire, fighting for their own benefit. Why should they care? They don't care. That is why you should know. That you have only one that cares for you. His name is Jesus of Nazareth. His name is the Most High God. The God that has set by fire care for you. He loves you. He cares for you. Commit your ways, your family to his hand to guide and protect. He will do it. Like I said before, God showed me a vision in which innocent blood flow through the evil government like a river of water. In Nigeria and some other nations in Africa, 
Some other nations in the world that do not send blood to a flow like a rivers of water where the leaders will not care because of their selfish interests and selfish ambition. That is why you should remember your creator in the days of your youth. Remember that only your creator is the one that cares, is the one that promised to protect and guide you. Is the one that cares for your life. Do not trust your evil leaders. Because they are fighting for their benefit. African nation. Stand and believe the word of God. Jesus will fight for every one of you. Jesus will care and he will support you from beginning to the end. So do not be afraid. Do not trust all those evil leaders. God said to me that the blood of the innocent soul die in South Africa will speak against those who have conspired or participated in the death of the African people in South Africa. That the blood will speak against them. That the blood of the innocent soul that killed in South Africa will speak against those that participated in that death. We speak against them, speak against the generation, speak against whatever they lay hard. We be speaking against them day and night. We be speaking against the generation, against the children. We be speaking against whatever they do on earth, that they will never be free from that blood. Those that cross by, we speak against them both spiritual and physical. We speak against the generation. The word of God says, that he will speak against them day and night. When God showed me in a vision of the dead spirits of innocent souls. Killed in a South African. They all cried and wept in spiritual realm. Saying that they were looking for food. And better life in South Africa. Saying that they were looking for food. And better life in South Africa. We did nothing Long in South Africa. We did nothing long in South Africa. They say they did nothing long in South Africa. Why should they die? Why should the South African citizen reject them, kill them, stone them to death? Why? But the Lord said that the blood of those innocent souls will be speaking against them and the generation. God said to me, man of God, add this question to South Africa. What shall South Africa benefit if they win their country and lose their soul and their soul throw into her fire? What shall it profit you, South African leader? What shall it profit you, the leaders of South Africa, the senators, president? What shall it profit you, the citizen of South Africa, when you win your country and lose your soul and your soul throw into her fire? What shall it profit you? Nothing. It will profit you nothing. It will profit the citizen of South Africa nothing. It will profit them not here. The word of God said, what shall it profit the president of South Africa? What shall it profit the evil leaders of South Africa? When they win the country and lose their soul, and their soul throw into her fire, what shall it profit you? And the word of God said, what should South Africa do or give in exchange? For many souls who die in the country. What shall you give? What shall you say? What shall you do? In a change of many souls. Who die in your land? Who die in your country? Who die in the country? Nothing. 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 After that, the word of God said nothing. The word of God said nothing. The Mosai God said nothing. The God of Daniel said nothing. The God of Daniel said nothing. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob said nothing. The omnipotent and omniscience God said nothing. The living God said nothing. The word of God said, what should South Africa do or give in a change for many souls who die in the country? Nothing. What shall you give? What shall you do? What shall you do? What shall you give? Or what shall you say? In a change of the many souls that die in your country. In a change of the many souls you gain in your country. The word of God said nothing. 
After that, I saw the crying of the beast saying, it need more blood. Saying, it need more innocent life blood to drink in South Africa. It need more innocent blood to drink in South Africa. More innocent life blood to drink in South Africa. It means that more people will die in South Africa. It means more innocent souls will die in South Africa. My brothers and sisters, you must advise yourself. Put yourself together. Encourage yourself. You must divide yourself and put yourself together and know the way forward in your life, in your family. Because more souls will die. Because that one is a smelly life. Because that one smells evil and pain, sorrows and tears. It's coming upon that one. Many years coming. You will see that that one will never escape the innocent soul they have destroyed in that land. And the word of God says that Africa foreign and that land must surely advise themselves. Many South African citizens worship the beast including the president of South Africa and some of his cabinet, including the president of South Africa. Many South African citizens worship the beast. They believe the beast. They do according to the will of the beast. They do whatever the beast asks them to do. They control by the beast. It means that South African citizens are serving beasts. They are serving beasts. They are serving devil. They are the children of the devil. Many of them are born. I have the blood of the devil. Sucking in our senses. And uh, then I ask God why the beast only asks for innocent like blood. Why the beast only asks for innocent like blood. And God told me that the kingdom that divides itself will never exist or stand. That the kingdom that divides itself will never stand because it is the kingdom of the devil. The beast is devil. The kingdom of the devil only fights against the faithful world and innocent people on earth. That is why the land is smelling a for. Both the police and everyone is wicked. They kill anyhow. They destroy woman's soul anyhow. But they will live what they sow. They will never escape. In the day of judgment. The word of God said that we pay for it. The word of God says South Africa. We pay for the innocent soul they have destroyed. They will pay for it. They will pay for it. They will pay for it. There will be no peace in that law. There will be no peace in the life of the wicked. There will be no peace in the families of the wicked. There will be no peace in the country of the wicked. The wicked soul will never have peace until they repent and give their life to Christ. And the word of God said there will be no peace in that land, in their family. This is what God says in a voice is heard in Africa, in the world, in South Africa, mourning and a great weeping. Father and mother weeping for their children, refuse to be comforted because they are no more. Because they are no more. A great pains. It's coming. It's coming upon the foreigners in South Africa. A great peace is coming to the South Africa. Everyone must surely set his house in order. Everyone must surely advise himself and put himself together. Everyone must surely humble himself under the almighty hands of God. Let the foreign idea commit the soul and the spirit into the hands of God. That the Lord will take care of them. And the word of God came to me say, if South Africa does not repent of their xenophobia and love African nation as they love their sin and confess their sin and ask African nation to forgive what the citizen have done, the word of God says South Africa will be a slave to the white foreigners in their own land. That they will be a slave to the white foreigners in their own land. At a point of time, at the due season, at the certain time, 
says the living God, I will make it to happen mm. if they don't repent from the wicked way, mm. if they don't change the evil activity, mm. if they don't repent from xenophobia. Mm. Jesus make it clear mm. that it will make it come to pass. Mm. He who has ears should hear what the Spirit of God says to foreigners living in South Africa. He who has ears must listen to what the Lord said to the foreigner lives in South Africa. Everyone must pray for the foreigners in South Africa, for the protection of God and His peace, for the protection, for God to protect and guide them, for God to lead them, God to save them, for God to do something great, something marvelous, for God to open their eyes that they will know way forward in their life, that they will know that the land they are is a land of peace, it's a land of peace, a land police of innocent blood, a land Present soaking loss and blood, a land sinner to soaking loss and blood, a land governor and council of soaking loss and blood, a land the evil leader prospered and prospered in soaking in loss and blood and killing people. It's a land of the devil, it's a land of the devil. Already, land repent from the wicked way. The word of God says it's going to push them into the slave of white foreign in their own land. Thus say the Lord, let this war, it will come to pass if that South Africa they did not take a step of repentance, a step of determination to repair, to change and to ask for forgiveness. You will see it come to pass. God bless you and peace of God be unto everyone. Who listen to this message and put it in action. You will see the glory of God. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.